Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gemba Red, and today we're going to try to answer the question of are clear blue blockers a scam? Uh, this is kind of a common question, a common uh, issue of concern for people is that what these you know bl clear blue blockers are claiming to protect you from blue light, they're claiming to improve your sleep. Uh, that's kind of you know a, a tricky statement because we know if you start to block more blue if you, you know, if you completely block blue light you're going to start to affect the color spectrum that you can visibly see that's just the physics of it uh, so we got to kind of change our mind and our perspective on what we're looking for in a clear blue blocker we know they can only reduce the blue light that you're exposed to they cannot fully block it otherwise you'll change the color of it um, so that's kind of what these clear blue blockers have to try to do they have to reduce the blue light either with a reflective kind of coating and you can see that blue reflection in the coating itself or they'll do a very um, subtle yellowish tint so you you know you will barely even see it and depending on the lighting source it'll be a very subtle yellowish tint and all this is just to try to reduce that take some of the edge off the blue light um, so that definitely means you know these aren't suitable to use as a sleep time glasses uh, you should be using a darker orange or maybe a red at night um, and these can't be a substitute for those deeper oranges um, so these can only reduce it so this important mindset of when people think it's a scam it's not necessarily a scam it's to try to take the edge off we're going to try to do an experiment it's hard to measure these because it only does a small reduction so we're going to try to do a measurement and then we'll see what we can find so we've got a high powered LED light set up here and we've got the Hopo color spectrometer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch very carefully this peak of, of blue light that comes from the LED. So here I just refreshed the measurement, measurement. So you can see we've got a pretty strong peak of blue light here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the glasses in front of the sensor and we're gonna try to retake this test And you didn't see there was there wasn't much movement. Let's try it again. Now let's take it off again. And let's see, see the peak on, went up a little bit when the glasses aren't on. They put the glasses back on. Try to do it again. You see the peak only went down very slightly um, but I can try to do some math because I can download the whole spectrum and I can do some math and see what that relative percentage reduction is you know again I can use my yellow safety glasses and put that over You see it drops the peak down very significantly. So that's like a much more comfortable. And I like these yellow UVX glasses because they don't fully block all blue light because I don't want to fall asleep during the day. Um, but it just reduces that peak down to a much more manageable level. But you can still see some blue light and still have very good color contrast and actually enjoy your day rather than a lot of companies. They just want to block all the blue completely. But that makes that just makes you fall asleep during the day so that's kind of silly so now we can see there's a big contrast between a nice yellow blue blocker and how much that does versus the clear one that barely makes any change okay so we saw in the in the measurements on the graph that we didn't really see much of a drop in that peak blue you know wavelength uh when we we're measuring the glasses we didn't see that drop as much as you know when we compare it to the yellow glasses that really can drop that bl that blue peak down and give you that real protection we can't really see it much on the graph if i set up the experiment right i can see that that peak move a little bit but it really doesn't do much um, so what i can do is i can download that information and look a little bit closer and do some math and see what that percentage blocking is, if any. Um, so what I found was uh, 
between the range of 400 to 440, the shorter wavelength blues, it actually did have a significant reduction. The problem is, is that the peak wavelength from most blue, you know, blue light, the, the white light LEDs, that peak is usually around uh, 460. So we're kind of missing the mark with this block, with this clear blocker is that it doesn't black much in the 460. It does well 440, uh, 400 to 440, but not much, you know, around 460. That's where we need the protection from the LED light that a lot of clear glasses will fail because again, you'll start to alter the coloration of the glasses. It won't be clear anymore. It'll be a little bit more yellow or amber. Um, so that's, again, that's the tricky uh, kind of balance you got to do. When I measured this, it only reduced 5% of that blue light peak. So it's really not much, um, you know, again, and it's important, you know, kind of the mainstream medical establishment would tell you, you know, that 400 to 440 range, that's the most important because the shorter wavelength blue can cause more harm to the eyes, similar to UV or violet. Um, so that's why they're trying to focus more on blocking those shorter wavelengths. But we know we got to protect from the LED light. Um, so that's why I really prefer um, some of the, the more yellow kind of blue reducers like the UVX Amber and maybe the um, Gunner brand, um, the, the Gamer glasses, um, because they do a significant reduction in blue light uh, in, in, the, in the correct range that actually protects you like you saw on the graph. And um, some companies kind of want to tell you, oh, you got to block all blue light. You got to block all the artificial blue light um, because it's not balanced from sunlight. But I think that's kind of taking it in the wrong direction. It's taken a little too extreme because if I wear those deep yellow glasses that block all blue light, I get a little bit like tired. I don't have as much focus. I don't have as much alertness. Um, so I don't like blocking all blue. Again, I think people take it to too much of an extreme. Um, but really, you know, I think getting that reduction in um, can really help you. And that's the problem with the clear blue blockers. Uh, you can maybe get, you know, 5%, 10%, maybe 20% without significantly altering the color that you see and it won't be clear anymore. So that's, you know, that's the kind of the problem. But, you know, I do like these glasses. These are um, from Reading Glasses ETC. I think they're the Kodak uh, coating. And, uh, you know, I enjoy it. I, I wear it around the house. I wear it out in public and, you know, it's very subtle, but I feel like it does help take the edge off of, you know, the lights around me, even though mathematically and, you know, the only 5% protection doesn't sound like much, uh, seems to be more comfortable than not wearing anything at all. So, you know, that's the kind of trade-off you got to do whatever you can to protect yourself. So hopefully this helps clear it up. It's not necessarily a scam unless it's presented the wrong way that it gives you all this protection or it helps you with your sleep which we know you got to do the orange glasses for so it's kind of more of a, a marketing kind of aspect to make sure people are, are telling you the right things and then you know companies trying to protect more in that 460 range and focusing more on that uh, rather than the short wavelength range uh, that's that's you know not as much of a problem even with leds so hopefully that helps clear it up